Hi, this is Paul and this is a tutorial video and uh, this is something that's come up in the Discord group. Someone's asked me a question on the Elliott Wave indicator suite, but more important, I see this as a good uh, teaching practice really to understand when something's trending and not trending. So uh, one of the members of the Discord group actually asked why doesn't the first wave start here? And I'm going to explain that a little while, but we were corrective in, in this part and I'm going to look at my charts here absolutely correct at uh, finding the double bottom and that's the start of the, uh, the trend but the trend breaks here and we go sideways so this really the elite wave count here doesn't really matter because we're breaking a lot of rules and as you'll see now we've gone corrective and it's now uh, ABC correction uh, so I'm gonna just move that out of the way and go to my chart so one of the things we look at is uh, we were it was correct to look at this double bottom here this left hand side is the start of your wave count okay so when we look at the wave count and that is bar number 323 and as you can see on here I've got 323 on my start bar so that was the start but you know another thing to look at as well make sure the stochastic is under the uh, over sold zone there uh, for the start of that trend so we we tried to push down here it failed we tried to push down here it failed to form the double bottom and that's our trend one of the things to look at when you're putting this trend together uh, and we're looking on the daily time frame right now is putting a parallel channel in so I'm just going to delete that I'm going to put it on again so I'm going to go into the onto the left here on the left hand side uh, if you click the down arrows here you'll see parallel channel that's what you need and what we're looking for this is this is an obvious trend here so I'm just going to highlight that with a channel okay now when we have a wave 4 potentially uh, it sometimes pulls out of that channel finds support and then goes again now because of the rules of the Elliott wave um, that are loaded into this particular software and those rules are in those um, lessons uh, that I've done previously um, it will continue to reprint as if the rules are broken so initially this would have been the wave one and the wave two but because this pulled back below than the you know all those different rules blah 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 it doesn't matter it just keeps reprinting once we start to go outside of there and we start to go sideways in a range there's no trend there's no tra it's not returned to the trend uh, I've highlighted this support resistance zone here and also support resistance zone down at the bottom so we've broken out of that channel we didn't we we came down we pulled back but then we just didn't go for it we just kept going sideways and this candle here upset the whole apple cart because it broke this pivot point here and it broke that wave one uh, pivot point just here again that wave four cannot go beyond the extreme of wave one so all of a sudden on that picture that you saw before why wasn't this uh, the wave one purely because we were a corrective and as soon as that candle broke we're a B and we're a B again it's all corrective uh, you know and now we are just waiting to see to break out of this correction we can actually confirm that a little a little more if we go down to the four hour time frame always look go down a time frame now you can see that range being broken another thing that we see here on there is we've got another little on the four hour another little triple quadruple quintuple bottom here that's the start of a trend a wave one now this is this is what we call pretty much picture perfect is on this four hour time frame we've got all of this support we move away from the support we hit the center line of the channel that you draw on a daily that's the wave one the wave two comes down to the bottom end of the channel the wave three then goes all the way up to the top end of the channel we get the fourth wave coming back and then we trade the fifth wave coming back uh, then going back up again so don't don't get hung up on trying to stay on the same time frame multiple time frame strategy really works with Elliott Wave so if you're starting on the daily or the weekly don't be afraid go down to the four hour the two hour the one hour because you will find within that channel that you draw 
uh, and in the description of this video I will put in the link to uh, uh, a class that I taught for putting in channels and support and resistance zones. Uh, don't be afraid to go down that's a strong trend and within that trend on a smaller time frame we've had a wave one a wave two a wave three that's respect to the channel the wave fours come back down it's crossed over in the oversold zone the 535 is good down here this was a good fifth wave trade then since then we've gone sideways and corrective okay we're not in a trend anymore and you can see that better on that four hour rather than the daily very very corrective one thing that you should be looking for now is we've got a six star sell on the four hour we should be isolating at these highs now this could be a potential trend down if it breaks down through this support so one thing we should be looking for now is looking at the bar number of this pivot point here because this could be the start of a downward trend if it breaks this bottom support so let's look at that bar number now 2282 that's where we are right now what we what the scenario is that we're looking for now is um, we're looking to push through this support where's the next support we got these little that really strong support from there the ideal scenario right now is that we push through this wave 3 extends we get a wave 4 pullback to test this previous support and then we have the fifth wave down that's the sort of scenario we're looking at right now because we've, we're looking you know this could stay corrective find support and go back up again but right now this is where we should be hopefully that helps and I've made this I mean I'm putting it on my YouTube channel but I did make this in response to a question on our free discord group uh, to help uh, sort of solve some issues because not everything's plain sailing with any type of strategy but hopefully this has helped